Daily Visual Bible. I'm the Avatar version of Robbie Yates and I would like to welcome you to my home in Second Life. Let me show you around. This area was designed to be a place for people to come and reflect on the Word of God. This is the building in which we keep the television that broadcasts a show that you may be familiar with. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Daily Visual Bible Land here in Second Life. Please feel free to come and visit us on the 31st of August as we host our first discussion on the book of Genesis. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 42 Now Israel saw that there was grain in Egypt. And Israel said to his sons, Why do you look at one another? I have heard that there is grain in Egypt. Go down there and buy for us from there, so that we may live and not die. Joseph's ten brothers went down to buy grain from Egypt. But Israel didn't send Benjamin. Joseph's brother of his brothers, for he said, I do not wish harm to happen to him. The sons of Israel came to buy among those who came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. Joseph was the governor over the land. It was he who sold to all the people of the land. Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves down to him with their faces to the earth. Joseph saw his brothers and he recognized them, acted like a stranger to them. I spoke gruffly with them. He said to them, Where did you come from? He said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. Joseph recognized his brothers, but they didn't recognize him. Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed about them. and said to them, You are spies. You have come to see the bareness of this land. He said to him, No, my lord, but your servants have come to buy food. We are all one man's sons. We are honest men. Your servants are not spies. He said, No, but you have come to see the bareness of the land. He said, We, your servants, are twelve brothers. The sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is today with our father. And one is no more. Joseph said to him, It is as I said to you, You are spies. By this you shall be tested, but the life of Pharaoh you shall not go out from here, unless your youngest brother comes here. Send one of you, and let him get your brother, and you shall be bound, that your words may be tested. Whether there is truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh, surely you are spies. Put them all together into custody for three days. Joseph said to him the third day, Do this and live, for I fear God. If you are honest men, and let one of your brothers be bound in prison, you go, carry grain for the famine of your houses, bring your youngest brother to me, so will your words be verified, and you won't die. They did so. He said to one another, We are certainly guilty concerning our brother, and that we saw the distress of his soul when he begged us, and we wouldn't listen. Therefore, this distress has come upon us. We would answer them, saying, Then I tell you, saying, Don't sin against the child. You wouldn't listen. Therefore, oh, so behold, his blood is required. They didn't know that Joseph understood them, for there was an interpreter between them. He turned himself away from them and wept. Then he returned to them and spoke to them and took Simeon from among them, and bound him before their eyes. And Joseph gave a command to fill the bags with grain, and to restore each man's money into his sack, and to give them food for the way. So it was done to them. They loaded their donkeys with their grain, and departed from there. As one of them opened his sack, to give his donkey food in the lodging place, to store his money. 
Behold, it was in the mouth of his sack. He said to his brothers, My money is restored. Look, it's in my sack. Their hearts failed them. And they turned to trembling to one another, saying, What is this that God has done to us? He came to Israel, our father, the land of Canaan, and told them what had happened to them, saying, The man, the Lord of the land, spoke roughly with us, and took us for spies of the country. We said to him, We are honest men. We are no spies. We are twelve brothers, sons of our father. One is no more, and the youngest is today, with our father in the land of Canaan. The man, the lord of the land, said to us, By this I will know that you are honest man. Leave one of your brothers with me, and take grain for the famine of your houses, and go your way. Bring your youngest brother to me, and then I will know that you are not spies, but that you are honest men. So I will deliver your brother to you, and you shall trade in the land. As they emptied their sacks, behold, each man's bundle of money was in his sack. When they and their father saw their bundles of money, they were afraid. Israel their father said to them, You have bereaved me of my children. Joseph is no more. Simeon is no more. You want to take Benjamin away? All these things are against me. Reuben spoke to his father, saying, Kill my two sons. If I don't bring him to you, entrust him to my care, and I will bring him to you again. He said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he only is left. If harm happens to him along the way in which you go, then you will bring down my grey hairs with sorrow to the place of the dead.